Hey guys, it's me, I'm Beth, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got a really fun video for you all. I'm going to be sharing with you all my top tips and tricks on how to grow your TikTok account. Okay, so I have eight different tips for you all. And just before we get started, this is one of my TikTok pages. I currently have around 18,000 followers. And I also have another account, which is like my secret TikTok account, which has around 10,000 followers. I'm focusing on this one because this is like my main account. My other one is kind of just me talking and I don't post like that often compared to this account. So if you don't already follow me over there, then make sure to follow me. Um, my link is in the description box and maybe we can follow each other back to support each other. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, so something that is really important is to keep on with the trends. So sometimes there's like a makeup trend going about, like a certain filter that's trending, a certain sound. And even if there's like a trend going off with a sound where people are making like a very similar video, you don't have to follow that trend. Obviously it'll like most likely get a bunch of views and get pushed out to the For You page if you do. But quite a few times I've used a popular sound but done a complete different video to what the actual trend is. I've like taken one and I've done like an outfit video, like a building outfit with me with that sound. And just because it is a popular sound, it gets pushed out to people way more because everyone's using it and everybody's looking on that sound. So don't always stick to the trend fully, but try to like incorporate it into your video a little bit. Another thing is to use the trendy hashtags or just write hashtags for your video. If you go onto, I'll put a screenshot on this video somewhere, but if you go onto one of the bottom tabs, it's like the search one, I, I think it is. Um, and if you scroll down, there's like different sections and it, it shows you like the different trends on the app right now. And it has like trendy hashtags, sounds, filters. It has all of that there. And I often go on this and just like scroll down and see which trendy hashtags are gonna match my videos or which ones that I can do a video for, which again, often are the makeup or fashion trendy hashtags, seeing as that is like my content niche. Okay, so talking about niches, I think it is quite important to have a sh like a structure to your like account and have like a niche that you want to follow like i as i keep saying i focus on beauty and fashion videos which that's my thing i do it on instagram and i'm starting to do it more on here but i also do sometimes switch it up and i do like one video that's like completely different that has nothing really to do with those things most of my videos do stick to my niche, but then I have like one or two that are just like something completely different just to mix up my content and keep it interesting and fun for everyone. I don't think this is the most important thing with TikTok because I feel like a lot of people just follow if they think you're funny or they like, like your style um, compared to like Instagram where it is like important to have a niche on there. Okay, while we're on the topic of Instagram, it is so important to like promote your TikTok on your other social media platforms. Like say you've already got followers on Instagram, share it with them, post something on your Instagram reels about your TikTok or YouTube like I'm doing now, like mention it in your video when you're doing like maybe a vlog or a fashion video or something, insert a reel next to it or like post your TikTok and say, oh, there's more content on here. Just so then people will know about it because it, often your followers won't be able to find you straight away. You might not come up on their For You page. So you need to like, push it out to them so they know that you're there. So it's really important to encourage engagement so people to like and comment and follow. I often try to encourage engagement in the comments. So when I do videos, this is an example of something I do quite often. I pick out two outfits, two or three, depending, you know, I pick out like a couple outfits, let's just say that, the night before. And then I like lay it out in like a nice way on the floor or like with like a nice blanket so it's got like a cute background. And then I make the TikTok and I put like outfit one, outfit two, outfit three, whatever. And then I say, which outfit do you think I should wear tomorrow? Like help me pick an outfit. And then people will comment which one. Often I do this as well. Like I started doing this because I genuinely kept getting stuck on what to wear. So this really helped. This increases your engagement so much because people are commenting a number like it's so easy for people to comment like they don't have to comment like a full sentence it's literally like one number it's like one letter one word 
and when TikTok sees this and they see the people liking it, they push it out to more people because they see that your engagement's high. So I feel like this is a really good tip to just like add questions in. So yeah. <laughs> One of the big ways that I've also grown on TikTok is by going live. I was often really scared to go live on that account just because I, like a lot of people in like real life follow me on that and I always feel awkward when they join my live streams. However, I started going live and they don't even join it. Like I didn't even have to say anything, they just don't join it, I guess because they're not on the app as much as I am. Um, <laughs> but going live, I don't know if this is like actually what happens, but anytime I go live, this is my experience. So sometimes I only have like maximum of like 30 people on there, like like at a single time. Obviously at the start, there's only like five people. Sometimes it'll get up to like 60, 70 for me. Um, but then when I come off of that, obviously people are then seeing your live stream on their for you pages and they're following you from there. But when I come off and I go back onto my actual account, my videos often, like my most recent ones have been pushed out onto the for you page. That's my, this is my experience. I don't know if this happens, if it's like an actual thing, but my videos seem to always have like way increased views, likes, comments, and they're just like being pushed out to like a lot of people. And I get like a thousand views, like a couple thousand, as well as like old videos that I've got like 10,000 views, they then gain even more. So I feel like going live is a really good way to find your audience and just like gain a following quite quickly. Obviously, if you wanna keep this going, you do have to go live quite a lot. But something else I also experienced from this, this isn't TikTok related, this is Instagram. Then because I have like my Instagram linked in my bio of my TikTok, people and then follow me over there. It's like directing my new audience and followers to my other social medias by having my bio really like clear. Same as my YouTube people are then subscribing on here because they've seen my TikTok and I guess they liked it and they decided to follow and subscribe. Okay, we all know consistency is so important and I am also quite bad at being consistent. I have been trying even more. I actually haven't even posted a TikTok today and it's like 12 p.m. So I need to get on it, I need to get on it. But I have been working all day so I haven't really had the time yet. But I would say that being really consistent with your posts on TikTok is like really important because the more you post, the more likely you are like one of your videos to like blow up and get big and the more you post as well, the more like engagement you'll get and the more chances for people to interact with your content. So for me, I'd say post between three and probably six times a day. Now, you may be thinking that's a lot, but you can make videos like in one part of your day like in the morning and then post them throughout the day like you don't have to post them all at the same time so something that i like to do is when i'm getting ready i often do like a before and after and i do like a little transition to like a trendy sound or something wow my tv or i do like an outfit of the day and i just show my outfit sometimes i do like a little day vlog and that just helps me like make videos all in one time and so then i don't need to be like constantly thinking all day i need to go make this video i need to go do this because i've already done it and all i need to do then is do the caption and hashtags and then just post it okay this last tip might <laughs> it might make you feel like oh i don't want to do that sometimes your account just like stops and especially if it's an old account um it's just really hard to like, if you haven't posted on it in a while, it's really hard to get back into the flow. So sometimes making a new account is one of your only options. And in my experience, my account, um, the one that's connected to this, the one that I use all the time that I showed you guys this one, I was on about 9,000 followers, 8,000, 9,000 followers, and I was not gaining any and my views really low, my likes were low, no comments. All of my like statistics were so low and like nobody was seeing my like videos, no one that like followed me was seeing my videos. And that was because I had really bad consistency. Honestly, my content wasn't that great. So one day I did just decide to make a new TikTok because I was just getting stressed out on this one and I just needed to like leave it for a bit. So I went and made my other account and instantly my videos were getting so much more views and i don't know if this is a thing with all new accounts i don't know if it was just at the time because it was like secret accounts were like trending at the time 
and that's what I made. But that account was doing amazing. As I said, I grew it to 10K. I actually reached 10K on that account faster than I did on my main account, which was pretty crazy for me to think about. And it did make me feel a bit like disheartened because my other one did stop growing. And then this one that I wasn't even posting like content that I put thought into, because on the other one, I kind of just speak and post random things. It's kind of like a private Snapchat story, but it kind of helped me grow my confidence back on TikTok and I actually think it helped me like quite a lot by just leaving my other one, going over to here, getting back into the flow of posting, get back into the flow and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So then I can bring that to this account. And then I did direct people from there and say, hey, this is my other account if you wanna check it out. Um, I post different content on here. So yeah, making a new account does have its benefits. Well, it did for me. Honestly, all these things I can't say work, will work for everyone, but this is just my experience and what I've found has worked for my accounts on how I've grown my own accounts. Oh, and that new account, I think I made it at the end of February. I'm pretty sure. Either at the end of February or beginning of March time. Because I still have purple hair when I did it. So, I know that. <laughs> So that was like a really quick time to gain that many followers and I was going live on there so often because I really wanted to go live on this account but I was so terrified. I was also really scared of just going live and just like talking to people directly so I feel like that helped me gain confidence. So they are all of my tips and tricks on how I grow my TikTok accounts. I hope this helps you guys if you are wanting to grow on TikTok. As I said leave a comment down below or leave a comment on one of my TikToks and we can follow each other back and help support each other. I can't guarantee that these like tips are gonna work for everyone. This is only my experience and it might just have been, as I said, because of the certain trends that I've used and my niche on my account. Like it's always different for everyone. But I do hope that these help you a little bit. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if not already, follow me on all my social medias, they are all linked in the description box, and I'll see you all soon with another video. Bye!